एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर इन द सोल्यूशन टू दिस क्वेश्चन वील बी यूजिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एंगल ऑफ फ्रिक्शन इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी सीन आवर वीडियो एक्सप्लेनिंग द एंगल ऑफ फ्रिक्शन एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन इन प्रॉब्लम सोल्विंग इट्स हाईली रिकमेंडेड दैट यू सी इट बिफोर वॉचिंग द सोल्यूशन द लिंक फॉर द वीडियो इज सोन ऑन द स्क्रीन एंड इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो अ हेमिसफेरिकल बॉल ऑफ रेडियस आर इज रोटेटेड अबाउट इट्स एक्सिस ऑफ सिमेट्री विच इज केप्ट वर्टिकल A small block is kept in the ball at a position where the radius makes an angle theta with the vertical. The block rotates with the ball without any slipping. The friction coefficient between the block and the ball surface is mu. Find the range of the angular speed for which the block will not slip. As can be seen in the animation, the blocks move on a circular path whose radius r is equal to capital R sin theta, where capital R is the radius of the hemisphere. Let us draw the free body diagram of the block. Gravitational force of mg will pull the block downwards and centrifugal force of m omega square r will try to move the block in radially outward direction. From simple geometry, we know that the angle that mg makes with the normal to the sphere is theta. Let fr be the resultant of gravity and the centrifugal force. This fr is the net force that is trying to move the block. As we have seen in the discussion on angle of friction, the block will slide when this resultant force makes an angle tan inverse mu with the normal. Let tan inverse mu be phi. So the block will start moving downwards when F R makes angle phi with the normal in downward direction. This means F R makes an angle theta minus phi with m g, or m omega square r divided by m g is equal to tan theta minus phi. This implies omega square r by g is equal to tan theta minus tan phi divided by one plus tan theta tan phi. Or omega square is equal to g tan theta minus tan phi divided by r into one plus tan theta tan phi. Putting tan theta as sine theta by cos theta, tan phi as mu, and r as capital R sine theta, we get omega is equal to root under g sine theta minus mu cos theta divided by capital R sine theta into cos theta plus mu sine theta. This is the minimum angular speed of the ball below which the block will start sliding down. If we keep on increasing omega the centrifugal force increases and so does the angle between fr and mg when fr reaches the angle phi that is tan inverse mu to the other side of the normal the block will now start sliding upwards in this case fr makes an angle theta plus phi with the vertical and therefore m omega square r divided by mg is equal to tan theta plus phi this implies omega square r divided by g is equal to tan theta plus tan phi divided by 1 minus tan theta tan phi Or omega square is equal to g tan theta plus tan phi divided by r into one minus tan theta tan phi. Putting sine theta by cos theta in place of tan theta, mu in place of tan phi, and capital R sine theta in place of r, and simplifying, we get omega is equal to root under g into sine theta plus mu cos theta divided by r sine theta into cos theta minus mu sine theta. This is the maximum value of omega. Increasing omega beyond this value will cause the block to slide upwards. In order to request solution to any question from HC Mama Book, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.